Hey guys, what's up? This is Isaac, and today we're talking about legal transition. Uh, legal transition, what I consider it, and I'm not sure if this is exactly what they're referring to, but I consider it like name change, gender marker update, and so forth. Um, for some of you guys that can't afford it, there's ways to get that uh, taken care of by, uh, I guess, the state, you know? Um, I'll have to really look into that to see for y'all, but some of y'all that are on a budget, there's ways to have the fees waived. So, if you're any, on any kind of assistance, like Medicaid or food stamps or something along those lines, some, something that they provide a service for you, if you could show proof of it to the courts when you put in for your name change and your gender marker, it's up to the judge, so this isn't guaranteed. It's up to the judge, but if you turn that in, you can have those wees, uh, those wees, those fees waived. I'm sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied. Um, so if you get your documents together, and it's a lot of documents, it's a lot of work. Don't think that it's easy. It's not. You got to get, you got to sign in your your social, uh, your birth certificate. You're gonna have to have a letter from a physician that says like that you're ready for this part that you're not gonna like back out of being trans type of stuff um you have to have a letter and you have to have your documents ready you have to get those notarized and basically you just it's a lot it's a lot of red tape but for some people who can't afford it you can get your fees waived uh, it is possible to get it done um just make sure you have everything presented properly everything filled out properly because they'll send it back to you if it's wrong any little thing is wrong they'll, they'll toss it out or tell you that you have to get what they're asking for I was fortunate enough that I had someone that was dealing with my case specifically so he told me what I was missing and what I needed like my letter the wording was a little off so I had to get it revised by the physician and sent that back in and they pushed it through so I got that done back in March it took like two weeks to uh, find out if everything was finalized. Um, as soon as the letter came in, you want to get you a couple of copies of your court order, like all orders, and take that to go get your license updated, get your social updated, and then start updating everything else. Right now, so far, I have my license done, and I just put in for my social. They sent me a letter back. It's approved. But it takes a couple of weeks to actually get the new card in. So that's what I'm waiting on at this moment. And then once I get that, I gotta go update like my car title and my bank account and all that. I just hadn't updated it just because my social didn't match yet. So my paychecks were still going into my birth name. Uh, and I was also I was waiting because of school. I didn't want to miss any deadlines with the names not matching for uh, financial aid. So now I'm updating the social and I'm gonna um, my school is working with me. They have it to where my name on my license is actually on my school. Other than the fact of like the formal stuff is still on birth name because I haven't updated my social yet. But as soon as I get that in, then they'll update everything for me. So they're working with me quite a bit to make everything uh, legitimate and updated for me. And I don't have to worry about the hassle uh, dealing with administration I guess is our um, enrollment well it's not enrollment I'm already enrolled but I guess is I guess is admissions she's I have someone I'm dealing with in admissions that's gonna do that for me okay so legally like I said that's the stuff you have to come up with to get it the birth certificate that's the next thing I want to tackle personally I don't know how to do it yet and as soon as I find out I don't mind sharing it for but I just don't know exactly what I need to turn in for it. Um, on title changes, like I was talking about, I have to update my car title. You have to take your court order that shows that your name has been changed. You have to take in your original title. And this is here in Texas. I'm not sure if it's the same way in every other state. But you have to take in your original car title with your old name. Your court order that shows that your name's been changed. Your license and your proof of your insurance. And when you take that in, they'll charge you a fee and here it's like 
40-ish, 40, 45, something around there. To update it, so driver's license, that's, hell, I wanna say I paid like 16 bucks, might be a little bit more. Social's free, you know, most of the other stuff's free, but you do have to pay for some things to get updated. Um, other than that, guys, I'm not, not too sure what else has to be updated just because I'm still in the process of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. See y'all later.